Hey, what is going on everyone? So today we'll be showing how Chrome OS is running on a MateBook X Pro 2018. Um, so in fact, this is not going to be Chrome OS itself. It's going to be the um, Never Warrior, Never Wear Cloud Ready uh, operating system. So here we can see we're on their website. You can just go ahead and uh, download their USB maker. Um, so you can download the software. You will be able to put the um, bootable image on the USB drive and boot the computer with it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and boot the um, computer. As you will be able to see, the computer is really quick to boot up. In fact, it's a pretty uh, light operating system. So um, here it is. Here's the splash screen. As you guys can see, we're already on the login. Um, here's the version I'm running. And let's go ahead and log into the computer. And as you can see, I am in just a few seconds, you're up and running on your um, Chrome uh, browser. And here it is ready. Out of the box, um, all the keyboard shortcuts works correctly. So keyboard um, brightness works good. Screen brightness works good. Sound works good. Um, camera also works. There it is. So out of the box, um, the operating system has a really good compatibility with the resolution scale of the MateBook. Um, it, it was even a little bit um, bigger than what I like. Um, so you can go ahead and go to the settings here and go to, um, let's see, device and display. And you can play with the resolution scale here. As you can see, you can make it really, really small or really really big. Um, I like it a little um, smaller than usual. Makes the um, taskbar at the bottom smaller and same thing for the um, Chrome web bar on the top Make it, makes it smaller so you have more um, place for all your web content. So out of the box there's a little issue with the touchpad. Um, so the touchpad works great as you can see if I move the mouse everything, everything is responsive. Um, no issue with this however for some reason, if you leave um, enabled, tap to click enabled, there's some delay when you initially touch the touchpad. So what I mean by this, um, for example, you can see the mouse is right here. Um, if I just do a quick scroll um, like this, nothing happens, see? So um, the reason is there's like a delay before the um, mouse start to, re or the touchpad start to register your movement. So see, if I just um, put my finger here, just wait a little bit, now it's responsive to my touch. However, if I just um, do a quick scroll, nothing happens. So you have to like press on the touchpad for like a second, then you can start to move your thing. And so by turning the um, enable tap to click, click setting to off, uh, you then get like immediate response to your um, touchpad input, which is great, which is what we want here. Um, however, you will not be able to simply tap in order to um, do an action. You will have to click it. So same thing if you go like to the web browser, um, again you need to click on it, um, however the um, right click also works correctly. So just keep this in mind. Alright now, so concerning the uh, web experience on this computer with uh, Chrome OS or Cloud Ready, um, you know the web experience is the main point of this operating system. And I gotta say it is really on point, this is um, literally the best web experience I add with this computer. So as you can see, I do have a bunch of tabs open um, and the computer is just so quick and responsive here. Just changing tabs, going from one place to another. I mean, even like on uh, Facebook where it's always, you know, a little bit um, slow to respond and uh, laggy, it's super quick response immediately. Um, you know, everything loads up right away. Um, there's no lag or delay. Um, the touchpad responds immediately. And you can change tab, no issue there. And it's always ready, uh, waiting for your next input. All right, so the operating system also comes uh, with a built-in uh, Debian command line terminal. So as you can see, you can do some pretty cool stuff. Um, let's say we go ahead and install a um, web server. So, you know, I'm not sure how much you will be willing to um, use some Debian terminal on your web-based uh, operating system, but keep in mind this is something you can do, which is, you know, still pretty cool. 
So we're just gonna give it some time here. All right, seems like the installation is just about to be done. Great, so let's go ahead and start the... Um, Okay, and let's go for great seems like it's running so, so let's go ahead and try to access it so here you can get your IP address here it is and if you just paste it in your browser and boom there you go so as you can see um the Linux um, the Debian terminal is working pretty great. Now, is it as good as a real um, Debian operating system? Don't think so, but you can still uh, manage to do some of your work with it. Um, so basically, to summarize this video, um, other than the issue with loading uh, videos with like Facebook or Netflix, everything works good. Um, there's also the um, touchpad, um, touch to click, which doesn't work um, without like the uh, slowness or lag which is kind of annoying, but I'm sure you can figure it out. I started looking it up, looking it up online and there's plenty of um, thread on how to fix this. So I'm sure you can uh, figure this out. Also, battery life is really, really good as well as the uh, web browsing experience, which will be uh, really quick, snappy and responsive. Um, better than what I've tried with Linux and Windows. All right, guys, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you like the video. I'm probably going to do some other operating system um, test on the MateBook XP in the future. So if you want to see this, make sure to uh, leave a subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.